Hey guys, Nabil here with the Fitness Center. Today we got a total body desk detox class for you guys. Um, basically just gonna go through some movements to target the areas that kinda get tense and tight as we're sitting down all day or not really getting much movement in. So we'll work through the upper body, lower body, some mobilization, activation, and a little bit dynamic movement. So uh, let's get started. First off, we're just gonna start with some self-massage essentially. So you can sit down on your butt, kneeling position, stand up on the couch, whatever you guys want. We're gonna start with our left hand fully extended out in front of us and we're just gonna take our right hand, thumb or any of the other fingers. I like to use my thumb for a little bit more pressure. Just go ahead and massage the top side of your forearm and those muscles there, the flexors, and then also the extensors to the bottom side of your forearm as well. So here I just like to explore the area, move around, finding those particularly tight spots and then giving those a little bit of tension specifically as well as just moving around, just exploring the area. I tend to have tighter, more tender areas closer to my elbow, so I like to give a little bit more attention there. Just breathe nice and easy, especially as you find those really tender spots. And then when you're ready, you can switch over to your right arm. So taking that left hand with your thumb or your, any of your other fingers, go and explore the area, bottom side of the forearm and top side, and just massage. You can just move side to side, up and down, circles, or you can just take your thumb, press down, and just really breathe into it. Wiggle your fingers around, get some wrist circles in, and again, just explore the area, just try and loosen up some of the tissues here. Good, let's take another couple breaths while we do this. Good. All right, next thing I want to give a little bit of attention to our neck. Super simple here. All we're going to do, whatever position you're in, shoulder blades down and back, away from your ears. We're just going to drop our right ear to our right shoulder, hold it there for a second, then drop our head back, look towards the ceiling, then left ear to left shoulder for a second, and then we're going to come and look down and hold it there for a second as well, getting that chin to your chest. Then we're just going to reverse that left ear to left shoulder and then back looking towards the ceiling then right ear to right shoulder and then back down nice get some shoulder rolls forward and backward and then we're gonna get a little bit better stretching in a little bit more specific in our neck first thing we're gonna do is take our left hand we're gonna put it behind our back right on the small of your back from there your shoulders gonna want to roll forward Pin it down and back, nice and uh, far away from your ear. All we're gonna do here is look towards our right shoulder. And you might already feel a nice stretch there. If you wanna intensify it, you can just grab the back of your head and look down. And we'll just take a couple breaths here, keeping that shoulder, shoulder down and back, not letting it roll forward. Big inhale through the nose, long exhale through the mouth. Let's do one more breath. Good, go ahead and shake that left arm out. Then we'll go to the right side. So right hand back behind on the small of your back, shoulder blade, shoulder down and back. Look to your left. If that's good, keep it there. If you want to intensify it, just look towards the ground and to add a little bit of extra pressure with your hand on the back of your head. Same thing here, breathe into that stretch. Big inhale. Long exhale. Let's do one more breath. And go ahead and shake that right arm out. Now I'm gonna get into a little bit more movement, specifically mobilizing some of our posterior chain, anterior chain, chest, glutes, shoulders, things like that. So first thing we're gonna have is a hinge with a reach. So I want us to stand up nice and tall feet right underneath our hips. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna hinge forward. So you're gonna get a slight bend in your knees, shoot those hips straight back as that torso comes forward. Your arms will be right underneath your shoulders, fully extended. As we hinge, we're gonna raise our arms into a wide position, getting our biceps by our ears, and then we're gonna come up to standing, arms at our side. Or we're just gonna repeat here. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. 
We're gonna do this for about a minute. So here we go, hinging forward, shooting those hips back, and then raising those arms by our ears. And then getting back up to that standing starting position. And just repeating here. Now really try and shoot those hips as far back as you can with a slight bend in your knees. So you get, feel a nice stretch in your hamstrings. And then we get some good activation in the back of our shoulders and upper back with this wire raise, getting those arms up and biceps by the ears. Now remember to keep the shoulder blades down, right? We don't wanna get them close to our ears as we raise those arms up. There we go. Good. Let's do a couple more reps here. Let's do one more. Good. All right, shake your legs out from that nice stretch in the hamstrings. Next thing we're gonna have is a dynamic pec stretch. So we're gonna take our hands, we're gonna clasp them together behind our back. So it should be about tailbone level. Our shoulders are gonna wanna roll forward. So I want you to have a nice proud chest and get those shoulders down. From this position, you might already feel a nice stretch in your chest. So you can just keep it there and just breathe into it. Otherwise, we're gonna try and lift our hands up off of our tailbone as high as we can and then back down. I'm pretty tight, so I can only go this far. Some people might be able to go all the way up to here. Just work with whatever range you have. And just really breathe through it, trying to get as much range of motion as you can. Good. Otherwise, you can just hold this position, not even lifting the hands, keeping that nice proud chest up and forward, get a nice stretch in the front of the shoulders and the chest. And just breathe into it. Good. And then if you feel like you've created some space, then you can get those arms moving. Good. As you raise those hands, the shoulders are gonna wanna roll forward, so keep them down and back. Let's do one more rep. Good, all right, shake your arms out. Let's get a couple arm swings in. Next thing we're gonna have is a hip flexor to hamstring stretch. We're gonna come into a half moon position, right knee down, left knee up. All we're gonna do here is hands on one knee or on the ground. We're gonna lean forward, squeezing that right glute, getting a nice stretch in this front part of the leg, and then leaning back with the hips and stretching that front leg, extending that front leg to get a nice stretch in the back of the hamstrings. So we're just gonna oscillate back and forth here. Hands on that front knee or on the ground. I like to go on the ground just to get a little bit more, more support. If you can't extend that front leg all the way, that's okay. You'll still feel a stretch even if it's slightly bent. Just depends on how flexible you are. For me, I can just go about this far and that's about it. Let's do one more rep and then we'll switch sides. So left knee down, right knee up. Same thing, hands on the knee or on the ground. Squeeze that left glute as you bring the hips forward and then send those hips back, drop the torso slightly to straighten that front leg and get a nice stretch in that right hamstring. So again, just work with whatever range of motion you have, all right? Whether it's far or not, not a big deal. We're still getting a nice stretch. Good. That was that last rep right there. Next thing, we're just going to go back to the top of that hinge and reach. So standing up nice and tall, feet right underneath the hips, hands out at your sides. As we hinge forward, the hands are going to raise up by the ears, okay? Go ahead and get started. So. Slide in those knees, shoot those hips back, drop the torso, and raise those hands up nice and high with the arms fully extended, getting those biceps by your ears. So although none of these moves are super complicated or super intense, right, we're still getting some good movement in. So we'll get warmer and warmer, really bring up the heat as we get moving more and more. So I don't know about you, but I'm already getting a little bit of a sweat Let's just keep moving through this nice and smooth. Try to pause at the bottom when we're in that hinged position and then come up nice and controlled. You can squeeze those glutes to help bring your hips forward. I like the inhale on the way down and exhale on the way up. Let's do this last rep. Good, and we're gonna get back into that dynamic pec stretch. So, Super tight area for me, so I'm just gonna hold and breathe into it, but let's go ahead and clasp our hands together behind our back, tailbone level. 
Get those shoulder blades down the back. Nice proud chest. All right, we're either holding here and breathing into it, or as best to your ability, you're trying to lift those hands off your tailbone. Now this is what we don't want as we lift, right? To lean and roll forward, all right? Keep a nice proud chest, squeeze your glutes, engage your core, and then lift as high as you can. If you can fully extend your arms, great. If there's a slight bend in your elbow like me, that's okay. Again, just work with whatever you got as far as your range of motion. Again, if it gets intense with the lifting of the arms, just hold it. And breathe. Nice, big, deep breaths. Nice, proud chest. Push those hands towards the ground. Let's take another couple breaths or another couple lifts. Last one. Good. All right, shake your arms out. Let's get a couple arm swings in there, a lot of stretching. So let's get the tissues moving. Then we're gonna have that hip flexor to hamstring stretch. So that right knee down, left leg up, hands on the knee or on the floor. Squeeze that right glute, lean forward. Nice stretch in that right quad. Sit those hips back. Nice stretch in that left hamstring. And again, all we're doing is oscillating back and forth here. Now, as we push those hips forward, don't forget to keep that glute. Nice and engaged. Good. Let's do a couple more reps, then we'll switch sides. I'll let you know when. Nice, all right, left knee down, right knee up, same thing. I'm gonna go on my hands here, see how it feels. If I want a different feel, I'll move my hands up to my knee. You guys can do whatever feels comfortable for you. Again, squeeze that left glute as you bring those hips forward. And really sit those hips back, trying to straighten that right knee. Good. I like to inhale on the way forward and exhale on the way back, but you can do whatever is comfortable. Last rep right here. Nice. Now we're going to get a little bit more activation. Let's go ahead and stand up nice and tall. We're going to do a standing row to rotation. So we're going to have our hands up at shoulder level, fully extended with the arms. Following me, you're just gonna pull those elbows back, squeeze the shoulder blades, keep the elbows where they are, point the hands towards the ceiling, and point the hands, big rotation towards the ground. Come back to the middle, extend, and repeat. So pull those shoulder blades back, squeeze, hands towards the ceiling, hands towards the ground, back to the middle. Now as we're rotating up and down, just go far enough as you need to, right? Don't try and overextend and really push them back and up and down and forward. We don't want to overexert the shoulder joint. So just work with, again, whatever range you have. And just right when you feel that tight spot, just stop right there, pause for a second, and then keep moving through it nice and smooth. Let's do one more rep. Shoulder blades down and back, squeeze, hands up, hands down, back to middle, extend. Good. Shake the hands out. Next thing we're gonna have is a superman lift, okay? A little bit more activation of posterior chain. So let's go and lay face down on the ground. We're gonna have our arms and legs fully extended. From this position, looking straight up, down at the ground the whole time, all you're gonna do is lift your arms and legs off the ground as high as you can, pause for a second, and then come back down, all right? I'm just gonna keep moving through this, so keep those shoulder blades down and back. I'm gonna keep saying it. And then while you're looking at the ground for a nice and neutral spine, Lift those arms and legs up, and then control it nice and easy back down. So we're just gonna keep doing this for repetitions. Nice and controlled. You'll feel a nice squeeze in your glutes. A little bit of activation in the lower back, that's okay. But to make sure that not too much tension is in our lower back, really focus on squeezing your glutes as you raise those limbs up. Nice, let's get a couple more reps in. Good, pause at the top, control on the way back down. Good, that's the last rep right here. Good. Next thing we're gonna have a standing clam shell. So let's go and stand up nice and tall. We're gonna shift our weight to our left foot, nice and balanced. Once we find that center of gravity, 
lower your body a little bit so you have a nice bend in the hips and the knee. From there, right foot is on the left calf and you're just rotating your hip so the knee's out and then in. Really squeezing that glute when we're bringing that knee out to our side. So getting a nice glute activation. And since we're balancing on our left leg, <laughs> that left glute will be firing up too to keep us nice and stable. So keep moving through this, hands can be on the hips or out in front of you, wherever's most comfortable. And when you're ready, switch sides. So right leg down, left foot up on that right calf. Same thing, knee in, knee out. Having a slight bend in that right knee and right hip or actually should be squatting down just a tiny bit. Not even a quarter squat, it's like a 10% squat. Same thing here. Knee in, squeeze that glute, knee out. Good. Stay nice and stable, really root your right foot into the ground. So grip with your toes. Last rep. Nice, all right, we're gonna go back to that again. So standing rotation. Stand to rotation. Standing up nice and tall, all right? Feet, or sorry, hands, <laughs> shoulder height. All right, fully extended. Let's pull those elbows back, squeeze your shoulder blades. Keep the elbows locked in right there in space, then rotate up, rotate down. Back to middle, extend. All right, you should have the, that rhythm down now. So again, to your best of your ability, work through that space and really squeeze those shoulder blades even when we're rotating up and down, all right? To get some good activation in our upper back. And again, as we rotate up and down, we might lose touch with the positioning of our shoulders. So don't let them shrug up by your ears, all right? Keep them down, keep moving. Back, up, down, forward. There we go. Nice and smooth. There we go, good. Dang. Simple movements, but it's getting hot in here. <laughs> All right, here we go, last rep. Rotate up, rotate down, middle, extend forward, good. All right, shake those arms out, get some swings in there, then we're gonna get back in that Superman lift, so let's lay face down on the ground. You know the drill, arms and legs fully extended. All right, stay looking at the ground so we have a nice neutral spine. And for as much time as this runs, we're gonna lift the limbs up, pause for a second, and bring it back down. So get moving, good. And don't forget to squeeze, really focus on squeezing those glutes. And keeping those shoulders away from your ears. Good, there we go. Nice, good control. Good, raise those limbs up a little bit higher. Good, if you can get your chest off the ground too, that's great. Let's get a few more reps in. We have about 20 more seconds. Good, I know I'm looking at the camera, but make sure you're looking at the ground. So you have that nice neutral spine. Good, last rep. Nice guys. Whew. All right, our last move in that standing clam show of this activation portion of the day. So left foot rooted, nice and balanced, lock that center of gravity. Right foot on the left calf from here, rotate in, rotate out, squeezing that right glute, all right? Again, hands on the hips or wherever is comfortable. Good. Again, pause, squeeze, push that knee out as we're rotating to the side and bring it back in. All right, my left leg's really starting to burn, so I'm starting to lose stability. So we need to pause for a second, bring that other foot down, then get back up into it. Let's do last rep right here. And then right foot down, left foot up. Same thing, moving nice and controlled. Whew. Getting a little wobbly here, <laughs> but you guys, it's all good. Just keep that core engaged, and we're breathing nice and easy, all right? As long as we focus, we won't lose our balance. Find a spot, keep it locked with your eyesight. Let's do the last rep right here, squeeze. Good. All right, now we're gonna get a little bit more movement in. We're gonna have a modified plank with a shoulder circle. So let's come down to the ground, high plank position, but from our knees. So Hands underneath our shoulders, 
hips are four, so we have a nice straight line from the knees to the shoulders. From this position, all we're gonna do is lift one hand, draw a big circle, bring it back down, alternate sides, lift the other hand, draw a big circle, back down. So go ahead and get moving, nice and controlled through this. Good, we can be here with the feet or on the ground. Just make sure your glutes are squeezed, your core is braced, you have a nice straight line through the body. I really want, really, what I really want you to focus on, stay nice and square to the ground. So as we lift the arm, we don't want to rotate and open up. Try the best of your ability to stay square to the ground. Good. Oof. It's getting a little bit hotter in here as we're getting moving a little bit more. We got 15 seconds. Let's keep moving. Nice, easy breathing. Really try and draw as big of a circle as possible and keep the shoulder away from your ear, all right? Last couple reps. Good, now we're gonna have a Superman to skydiver. So this is gonna be a little weird, hopefully a little fun. We'll lay face out on the ground, arms like fully extended. Our limbs will be up in the air the whole time, but instead of keeping them extended, we're gonna bring the elbows nice and tight to the body and the heels nice and close to the butt. Extend out, bring back in. Extend out, bring back in, keeping those limbs up in the air the whole time. So get started. Again, a couple things to think about. Try your best to keep the shoulders away from the ears and looking down at the ground for a nice neutral spine, especially in the cervical spine. So same thing. Extend out, floating, pull in, really squeeze the elbows tight to the body and the heels to the butt. Good, there we go. If we get fatigued, you come down a little bit, take a couple breaths, then I want you right back into it. Extended, pulling in for the skydiver, just like we're flying, falling through the air. <laughs> Five, four, Three, two, one. All right, now some more single leg stuff. We're gonna have a single leg bounce with a lateral reach. So start with that left foot down, rooted, nice and balanced, center that gravity. From this position, same thing, slight bend of the knee and the hips. Reach that right foot out as far as you can and bring it back in. All of your weight should still be on your left foot even when you tap that right toe out. Good, and all we're working on here is a little bit of stability as, as well as some glute activation in that right leg as we reach out. Good, move nice and slow. If you have the ability to, and you feel like you have a lot of control, then you can speed it up a little bit. Otherwise, keep it toned down. And when you're ready, right leg down, left leg up, switching sides. Good, really gripping the ground with that foot that's down to help keep that nice base of support so we don't fall over or wobble all over the place. If you need a tap, when we come back to the middle, that's okay. Just try and keep most of your weight on that left, right leg. Three, two, one. Shake those legs out a little bit. I know they were probably burning, they were for me. Back to that plank with the shoulder circle. This is gonna be our last round for the day. So, modified plank. From the knees, hands right underneath the shoulders. Nice straight line through the body, core is braced, glutes are squeezed. Lifting one hand, drawing a big circle backwards, and then alternating sides for the other arm. Good. So on here, not too worried about how many reps you're getting, all right? It's all about quality movement. So move through this as slow as you need to. Pause in the high plank. Really lock over in the end, then lift the arm, and that will ensure that you stay nice and square to the ground. As we get faster, we start to lose control or forget about the quality, so things start to move around too much. So sometimes slower is better. Most of the time, actually. We got 15 seconds. Let's get a few more reps in on each side. Nice, easy breathing. Squeeze those glutes, suck that belly button in. Three, two, one. All right, probably the harder one of the day, Superman to skydiver. So let's lay face down on the ground. It's the last time we're doing this. So let's do the best we can, arms fully extended. 
when you're ready, lift those limbs up off the ground. From here, pull them in, elbow side to the torso, heels towards the butt, punch them out. Bring them in, punch them out. Good. And repeat this. Nice. Again, if we get fatigued, we need to come down, take a couple breaths. That's okay. That'll ensure we have nice quality movement and we don't get too fatigued. Otherwise, get back up into it and keep moving. We're halfway through this. We got about 25 more seconds. Things are starting to burn, I know, but it's okay. Again, come back down, take a couple breaths. And when you're ready, keep moving. Good, there we go. Keep those limbs up, squeeze those glutes. 10 seconds here, let's get two more reps in. One, two. Good, all right guys, take a few breaths. Pause, grab some water if you need to. Otherwise, single leg balance with that lateral step. So left leg first, rooted in the ground. From this position, core is locked in, nice and braced. Reach that right foot out and back in. I really want you to reach out as far as you can, all right? That really challenge you a little bit more with your stability and get a little bit more activation in that right glute. Again, if you need a tap in the middle to help with stability, we can do that too. Otherwise, keep doing what you're doing. And when you're ready, we're switching sides. Right leg down, left leg up. Here we go. Centering the gravity on that right foot. Good. Locking that center of gravity in with the core. And again, that left leg moving. Good. This right knee might want to move around a little bit. Really pay attention and keep it locked right over your foot. Good. Nice. Couple more reps. Three, two, one. Woo. Nice guys. All right, shake the legs out. Shake those hands out. Get a couple arm swings in. And thankfully, the burn is over. Finished. Appreciate you guys coming through. That was a total body desk detox. If you don't have time to do the whole thing through, you can just do each round once. Up to you. But again, Nabil Mod here with the fitness center. Thank you guys so much for coming to today's class.